Hello, this is John with Saul's message for Monday, September 6th, 2021. Today he is talking about suffering, judgment, unworthiness and forgiveness. Separation from the Divine Presence is impossible. We are all one because there is only one. No more than the one is necessary or possible, and in this oneness there is infinite love, peace and joy that, as humans in form, you cannot even conceive of, because the love you experience between one another is almost, without exception, conditional. Love is. Love is without conditions of any kind, and deep within yourselves there is an awareness, a knowing of this divine truth, which enables you to trust that God's will is always perfectly achieved, just as intended. However, at times you are filled with doubt, as you are paying attention, often too much attention, to what your news media are reporting about situations all across the world that cause great suffering to so many. It is good to be aware that many are suffering so that you are reminded to set the intent at least once daily to be only loving whatever arises in your daily lives and to send the energy of love and compassion to those who are suffering. But do not dwell on their suffering even if you are physically in their presence, perhaps offering them help and support as they deal with the situations that seem to have just befallen them or which have been ongoing for long periods of time. Dwelling on their suffering, imagining yourselves their suffering along with them, just drains your energy leading to burnout for you, and it does not help or uplift those who are suffering. Whereas, setting the intent to be only loving, and then putting that intent into practice, is extremely powerful, for you are all extremely powerful divine beings having a temporary physical experience. So do not allow your doubts to persuade you that doing only this is ineffective. It is not. You chose to incarnate at this point in humanity's spiritual evolution and consequent awakening process precisely to be here now, assisting the collective in awakening by channeling love to all who choose to open their hearts to receive it. There is only love. You know that. It is reality. Your present purpose as humans in form is to share and extend love to the whole collective as it awakens. It needs to feel and experience love in order to awaken. Therefore, do not underestimate the importance of your present earthly incarnation because it is vital. Remember, there are no accidents or chance events. Everything has a purpose, even though that purpose appears to make no sense when you attempt to understand it intellectually within the illusory state that you experience as humans in form. Your intellectual abilities are extremely limited, especially when used alone without your intuition, your heart knowing. Therefore, open your hearts. Go within to your holy inner sanctuaries, Everyone has their own holy inner space, at least once daily, and you don't have to spend a fixed time there, just a moment will do, to rest, relax, take a break from your daily activities, meditate or contemplate God's love for you, and while there, make a point of opening your hearts and inviting love to enter. Love, God's source, is always there awaiting your invitation to join with you in union and harmony. Love always honours you and will not demand your attention, but will always respond to your invitation instantly. Maybe you have often relaxed into that sacred inner space and have never felt the love, and thus have felt alone, unseen, whereupon your egos tell you that you were silly to expect to feel anything because you are, of course, totally unworthy of God's love or attention. This thought or belief is completely invalid. Let it go. As a divine being, lovingly created by God, you are perfect. How could you possibly be other than that? And God is always holding you within the energy field of infinite love that is all. Every sentient being is eternally worthy of God's love. 
Your egos may well point to saints and holy people to insist to you that they are worthy of God's love because of the holy lives they lived, whereas it is quite obvious that you are not. Do not accept that thought, feeling or emotion as valid because it is not. Dismiss it and do invite God into your hearts. God is always with you, awaiting that invitation. There are very few among you who do not have a spouse, a partner, a friend or a family member who loves you dearly and from whom you accept love. Well, know that God's love for you is infinitely vaster than anything a human in form could share and extend to you. Recognize that human love that you accept is a nudge from God to demonstrate unmistakably that you are indeed totally worthy of love, of God's love. All in form are on a path of spiritual evolution, of awakening to their inseparableness from source, from Mother, Father, God. Most of you reading this know this, and yet many of you still see yourselves as unworthy of God, of love. Well, many you call saints, regardless of any religion, if any, that they belong to or espouse, just like you were filled with doubts about their worthiness of God's love. To feel unworthy is a distraction. No one is unworthy of the divine love. Absolutely no one. Stop judging. When you judge others negatively, you are, for the most part, projecting your own negative self-judgments, your sense of unworthiness, out and away from yourselves in order to allow yourselves to feel better about yourselves. It doesn't work, does it? So, start now to come to an understanding that everyone is always doing their best in the now moment, and that whatever you may be judging them negatively for is the best they can do now. As you start to realize this, and therefore forgive them, because you understand that your negative judgment of this, them is invalid, you will come to a place within yourselves where you will find self-forgiveness. That place is, of course, your holy inner sanctuary, where love is always present, awaiting an invitation from you to enter your heart. Offer it, and feel the love as it fills your heart and dissolves your own egotistical and completely invalid sense of unworthiness. Remember, you are love, because you are one with God, who created you in and from love, and that therefore separation from the Divine Presence is impossible. With so very much love, Saul.